Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lens Island, shall we? Well, this game is in early access, and I am playing on December 16th here, which is the release of the Uncharted Waters update for the game, and it's apparently the biggest update to ever hit the shores of Lens Island, so that's really exciting. Uh, but to be honest, I've never played it at all. I don't know anything about it. So it's all going to be new to me as I dive in, and we're going to start a new game. All right, we are going to create a new game here. Okay, it needs a world name, and we'll just call it Dr. Incompetent. World. And create. And we have some options here. We could go creative and hardcore, but those aren't in. We're going standard. Sounds good to me. And how do you control Len? With the mouse or with WASD? Interesting. Um, so they want me to do the mouse. I'll try it as the developer recommends, but I might switch it depending how this plays out. All right, next. Where is Len from? Jero Islands, Zengard City, the Acacia Plains, or the Garth Hinterlands? Um, you know... I think he's probably going to be like a city guy. Um, what does it change? Oh, it changes his uh, appearance. Then let me see what we've got here. Actually, this looks as close to what I want, so that's fine. Jero Island sounds good. What is his face type? Masculine or feminine? Okay. Um, masculine seems fine. And does he wear shoes? No, or definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, and we can change some of these settings now. And um, we can change his hairstyle and his color. Uh, this is like, oh, cool. We can give him some different gear here. Oh, yes. Nice. Look at this. All right, got some different options. Jeans, shorts. And we can change the color to, like, light or dark, I suppose. Um, we can have a red shirt. I like a blue shirt. Yeah, I like being dressed for all seasons like this. This looks pretty good. Um, and I'll go with the lightest hair. That's fine. It looks like all I can do is adjust the top of his head. I can't give him facial hair or anything. So as the haircuts go, this is my favorite. All right, so we're going to roll with this. Start that game. Oh, look at this. Okay, interesting. I mean, I got like a, a mining pickaxe. I'm collecting herbs. I have a shield and a sword, and there's a prosperous little town here. So interesting, interesting. Crafting Survival RPG? What is this? Your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the forgotten island where the light stone rush began, hoping to build a new life. Alright, well, um, we're on an island. Trying to start a new life. Oh my. And okay, I can right click to run. And the mouse wheel does not zoom as I was expecting it to. Um, it, oh my, that is a maneuver I was not thinking I was going to do. Uh, the mouse wheel kind of switches between my tools. All right, well, the game looks great so far. And I'm, I don't know if uh, the void consumed the area where I'm from. So I'm here just to try to make a new way and fight against the void, presumably. Um, all right. And let's see. We need to construct a house, place a bed, build a workbench, explore the map, and visit the mayor. Well, that's a lot of things to do. Um, all right. So it looks like I can push M to open up that map. Got some experience for doing that. Now I can use the mouse wheel to explore the map. And there is something over here. There's a dungeon or something. Okay, cool. Look how nice big map. 
very detailed all right we'll close that up um we need to build a workbench so if i push tab i can open up my backpack oh okay and you see a bunch of uh, resources here i'm the traveler or that my traveler's backpack has seeds food for farming cooking potions okay i've got some fish that i can acquire nice okay uh, and what else can I do here? All right. Um, well, here's the building menu right here. And this, there's a whole skill tree. Well, I gotta say, the UI for the game is really, really slick looking. The game itself looks good. Let's click on this utility box. Okay, it's opened up a whole tutorial thing here. Managing your hot bar and backpack. Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar to equip them, or drag an item off your hotbar to unequip it. Any unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chests for storage. Okay, good. All of your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time and do not require storage. Yeah, that's what it looked like. They're just big bars that fill up. So that's great. You don't have to, you know use storage space you just kind of carry stuff around that seems uh, pretty convenient equip food items by dragging them directly from your backpack to your hot bar okay and looks like in my box i have a, a weapon which is a makeshift bowie knife all right and it does four to five damage critical hit damage got high speed and i've got some tools but these are all like I can't, I have these already, so I don't know if these are just backups for what I have. All right, so here we go, and we're going to start looking around, and if I open up my inventory, by the way, um, I just very briefly changed the size of the UI, made it a little larger. Things were kind of hard for me to see, so I just bumped it up so it would be just a bit easier. And I don't have any resources, so maybe let's chop down a tree. I'm going to walk over here, and you can see as I mouse over stuff, the icon changes to show you what weapon we're going to use. So if I left-click on it, um, you interact. It says, time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage. You can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to auto-hit. Time your next swing when you see the crit circle expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger, trigger a critical hit deal bonus damage for landing crits okay all right um oh okay i got a crit oh no there's bees or something that are hitting me um oh and i'm trying to move around with wasd um i'm gonna see if i can i'm using the wrong tool for this all right let me try this Wow, interesting. Okay, so yeah, you, you do start by left click and then they want you to hit that. Um, I'm just gonna walk over and pick up this wood. So it's kind of like, it's interesting. The, the crit window doesn't open up when you are about to hit it. It's like in the follow through. And then if you do hit it, your next attack is massive and wrecks everything. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, let me just see this over here. Now, I was accidentally hitting the tree when I meant to... Okay. So they're kind of making it so gathering resources is more interactive, uh, which is fun, I have to say. All right, let's see if I... Oh, here's a big rock I can mine. So, if I wanted to build the workbench, let's check it out. I'm going to push tab, and I'm going to go to my um, building tab. And a workbench, this is a foundation. Let's go for um, machinery, farming, decorations. This is a workbench. It needs 40 wood and 12... Uh, is that fiber? Okay. So, we've got the fiber. We just need the wood. Fair enough. And let's just go get it. Alright, we crit we crit that thing up. Now I took some damage there. I don't know if I the tree fell on me. 
or what, what that was all about. The grass is sweet. It's super easy to cut. I'm going to get really into this, and I'm going to swing, and then just swing again and blast it. Sweet. Crushed it. All right. And let's just chop down this tree. Left click. All right, got it. I got to tell you what. I can see myself being really lazy with this and just letting it auto hit. But, you know, I like to just admire the game and um, it looks great. It throws me completely that there really is no way to zoom in and out. And that's probably by design. You know, they don't want you to explore that way, perhaps. Um, but I would like to be able to get like roll the camera in. Now there is a screenshot mode. So if I push G, I go to this screenshot mode, okay? And then I can use, you know, WASD uh, to move the camera around and get a better look. Uh, and then uh, that's elevation. Um, and then you can finally zoom in this way uh, by using the mouse wheel but this looks like about as close as i can get so this is cool and i like being able to rotate the camera um i just wish i could do that uh perhaps all the time oh by the way you can push f um to open up your backpack as well there's my little combat roll q and that's pretty much um all i see right now all right uh all right, and let's go. All right, let's get some more wood. Oh, wait, you know what? I better have enough to build it. Okay, great. Yeah, we do. All right, let's build a workbench. Now, um, in this mode, when you go to build, it goes to, like, camera rotation mode. So that's cool. Um, so I'm going to uh, walk over here. Where do I want to build? I'm just going to build right here on the beach. I, I can't give you a good reason for why I'm doing that, but I have a storage chest here, so I'm just going to build by it. All right? So, I'm going to um, open this up, and we're going to build a bed. And I'm going to kind of, like, zoom in a little bit, and we can uh, use this to rotate. And then you can use the R key um, to rotate the item itself. And I don't know why it's not letting me build it. It looks red. Um... Is it because it needs to be on flat ground? Yeah, it's it's saying no thank you. So maybe you have to have um, a foundation or a floor or something. Hmm. All right. Well, let me get out of this and try to figure that out. I have the wood, right? I've got 58 wood and 23 fibers. And this will cost me... Um, I have the ingredients, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to try to find a place where, like... It'll let me just build it, but... Uh... Well, um, I guess not. So, let's see. Oh, it says construct a house. So maybe I need to build a house first and put the workbench inside. I'm just guessing. I don't really know. All right, so that would require... Um, oh, <laughs> this is what threw me. It's called a wooden ceiling. It says, what's up? The ceiling used for walking on... And other fun stuff. Okay, so I would call that a floor. But um, I guess maybe not. Maybe the only the foundation is the floor. Uh, we need stone. All right, so let's go get some stone. All right. Okay, let me push three and select my little pick and walk over to this rock. And... I'm trying to get that crit going. There it goes. Uh-huh. Got it. All right. So let me kind of walk over this. Now we have enough stone to build something like a foundation. So I'm going to push to hab, and I'm going to build this. 
now we can build this, okay? Um, and it has a house picture on it and an arrow, maybe like where your door would be or something, uh, or where the front is, I guess. I want it to be like right here. Building your first home. Okay, so the way that this tutorial seems to work is you have to do it, and then it'll tell you what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so it's like a responsive tutorial instead of a prescriptive one. Uh, or, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't show you this screen so you know what to do. You kind of have to figure it out and then it tells you more. So drag in the item from your build menu to place it. To edit your build, enter edit mode with an F. Make building easier using camera controls and level switching. Upgrade and change your builds with various styles. Okay. So I'm going to build another foundation here um, and here, and there we go. So this is like a four by four. So hopefully this is reasonable. And this is very easy to build, by the way. I'm just um, doing this pretty seamlessly, and I've got a good start going. So I'm going to walk over here. Uh, I'm going to tell you what. I know they, they suggested that I use um, the mouse only, but um, I just, I keep trying to move using WASD and it's not working. Oh, I'm using the wrong tool. Here we go. That also throws me the fact that it shows you what icon, like it shows you the axe. So I think for some reason that I'm using the axe and then I realize I'm using a different tool altogether. So I got to get better at the controls. Ooh, are these like blueberries? Let me see what I can get from this. I did. I got some berries. Sweet. All right, let's get some more wood. All right, controlling with WASD is much better. For me, anyway. It, I might be missing out on some other elements of the control, but... I don't really like click to move anyway, so this is great. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's see if I can build some... Um, I want to build this window, but I don't have any glass, so I kind of, I'm just going to have to build a rather ho-hum establishment until I, uh, um, and let's just leave edit mode, use my axe, we need a lot of, we need a lot of wood here, alright, go ahead and go one, two, three, four, there it goes. Timber. All right. All right. Now I'm moving. All right. Sweet. All right. Getting some logs. I mean, it's tremendous that you don't need inventory space to carry your resources. That's great. And I like the whole... Um, you know, little mini game with each chopping that you do. All right, and we're back at the house, and we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to build a door right there, and we'll just build some walls like that. And now, uh, if I want to build a roof, I will need like copper or something. Uh, so I guess I'll just build this wood ceiling as like a bad house and they've counted this as a house so i do have something like a house uh let's build some steps bam now we're talking all right cool look at this uh i'm gonna exit edit mode like that and i just push the door open and we've got a little house now i'm obviously going to need a bed and a workbench and we'll move on from there it looks like I have a satiety bar and a health bar and an experience bar. So I'm going to push four and I'm just going to eat uh, some berries and you can see my hunger filling back up. All right. So if I wanted to build a bed, I would need wood and fiber. No problem. No problem. So we need a bunch of wood for both of those things. All right. It's going to be dark, unfortunately. So let me get an axe, and I'm just cutting wood at night, getting those crits. wonder if you get more experience if you crit, or if it's just as long as you complete the task of chopping the tree, you're good.
Ага. All right, cool. Let me get all this stuff. And uh, let me just go ahead. I don't like cutting these trees down by the shore because it, the wood can fall in the water and you lose it. All right, great. All right, there we go. There's fiber. There's wood. All right, so I'm going to uh, move back. It seems like you're always running, so you don't need to do much. It's very dark, uh, and that's a shame. I can't build a campfire, I don't think, uh, because I just don't have the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right there and build a bed. And for this, we do need more wood. All right, no problem. Uh, I might sleep. Like, I don't care that it passes time just because it's too dark. All right, so we have a little sweet house that we built. And we're going out, and it's daytime now. You know, the more I play the game, the more I really appreciate how uh, beautiful it is with the lighting effects. And everything seems straightforward. Like, okay, I'm harvesting. I'm, uh, you know, building things. And it's very intuitive. And so it seems like, oh, well, you know, it could just be like anything else. Ho-hum. But something about it, you know, the timing, which I'm terrible at, the the inventory, the UI, the music, it really ha has its own soul and is not just like some kind of like, you know, generic fill-in-the-blank kind of crafting survival game. At least so far, it feels that way to me. There's just something unique about it. I don't know if it's the controls, the perspective, or what it is. All right, so I'm going to go here, and we're going to build a workbench. Now, I'm going to um, build it inside. Can I use the... the uh, no, I can't, like... I have to go inside. Um, let me close this and let the roof disappear, and then we'll just build a workbench in here. So I'm going to push tab. I'm going to select this, and now that I'm in camera mode... Um, I can, uh, rotate it, but I want to go down. Um, there we go. And I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll build it right here at the foot of the bed. That's easy to get to. Fantastic. So, stone pile, wood pile. Oh, wow, I can build all these cool piles. Um, hilarious. And I can build a refinery, and I can build a utility box. I can also build, uh, a wood frame farm farming area to grow your crops oh it's like a raised bed garden that's cool and a well all right well i definitely need crops and i need um well pretty much everything that they're advertising here all right so i'm going to uh, get out of this and you know they want me to visit the mayor and I'm like looking at the map. Here's my spawn point, I guess, where my bed is. I have no idea where the mayor is. So I could take a gander in that direction and pretend like I know where the mayor might be. Okay, here we go. Here's a wall um, and a road. All right. So this is what's on my map. So I'm just suspecting that the mayor must be that way. But I don't know. I'm walking along this. Okay, this is blocking that entrance. I'm moving down here. Where am I now? Okay, yep, I'm curling around. And I'm getting really hungry. Oh. Activate. What is this? Map updated. I've activated something. And it's put two circles. Oh, okay. So I think what it's telling me is there's something I need to collect here that will in these two locations that will light these two torches and let me get inside there. But I have no idea of, like, suspecting why that would necessarily be the mayor, right? Um, so I'm going to follow this road to the south. Okay. And we've moved down here. And let's just see. Oh, there's a barrel. Can I do anything with that? Um, maybe if I'm in the water. 
Okay, cool. It had some metal inside it. Oh, there's a seagull. That's fun. Can I pick up that glass bottle? Not really. All right. Okay. All right, well, let's run along the beach. So here I am. I can get back to my house just going up the coast. Oh, here I can get copper if I want to make a nice roof, I suppose. Um, now I need like a... Or is this clay? Okay, it is... Well, let's look. Clay. Okay. Well, I pretty much need everything, so... And there's no weight, so I might as well just, you know, get it all. There we go. Cool. Alright, great. There's a lot of clay here. Good spot for that clay. All right. Oh, berries. It kind of feels like, you know, V Rising with the perspective and some of the the way that the controls feel and yet um not like that because there's not enemies really. I mean, I'm sure that there are, but they're, they're not really that plentiful, which is good because, you know, I get, I get wrecked. I'm not a warrior. I'm a man with no shoes. All right, I'm just going to drop down here, check out where I am on the map, and I'm right at home. All right. So what can we build now over all here? Oh, yeah, I can build like a cool roof for myself. You know, if I do that, one thing I could do is I could build an upstairs. Um, you know, for my place. Right? Like. Um, I'm having trouble getting it exactly where I want it. Let's see here. Let me... Yeah, there we go. There it is. Uh-huh. Sweet. Look at that. So I put a nice roof on here. Now, um, I can probably get away with uh, destroying my ceiling if I wanted to. Let me move up a level. And, no, it's kind of down there, so I guess I can't break it. And that's fine. Um, I can make a chair. Uh, I can make a sweet rug. Yeah, of course I'm going to make that. Let me move down. Just your standard rug. There's no such thing as a standard rug when you're talking about my own personal comfort. Oh my gosh, a bookcase? Yeah, of course. This is all completely unnecessary, um, but also amazing. Uh, I need to... Is there a way to rotate it the other way? Boy, if you over-rotate, you're in bad shape. All right, put that there. Got a sweet bookshelf. Get myself a little potted plant. Can I put it on top of this? Not easily. Now, for a lamp, I need some more advanced stuff. All right, and we can put a table over here. So now my house is, like, actually legit. Um, I want to build all this stuff, no problem. All right, so let's close it up. But look how good my house looks. That's right. We got a sweet roof. We got a bed. Now we're talking. Alright, can I mine this? No. Alright. Now I always need wood. So it's like, you know, your tools don't need any durability. That's not an issue. You don't have inventory space. 
you can build some pretty sweet looking stuff. Uh huh. Uh, there it goes. I was like, hey, now I need that wood. All right. Now let me look at the map. And oh, there's a sign up here. So this says um, town center and fishing docks. Sweet. Okay, now we can find the mayor a lot easier. I'm going to break this. I know it's not like mine to break, but I just did that. And there's like a mining area. Is this something I can mine? I don't know. Let's go talk to the mayor. All right, now we're talking. We're finding the the town center. Ooh, look at all this garden stuff. Wow, look at all the game's technology functioning. Uh-oh. Bridgewater. It's the town, but um, there's a little bit of a problem with their bridge. So I'm going to have to perhaps solve their bridge problem. Uh, can I build, you know, what would be necessary here? Um... Here, let me, uh, let me, well, no, that's the right thing, but let me rotate the camera and see if I can put it where it needs to go. Um, I'm going to kind of rotate this a bit, and what's the problem? Maybe I can't build that here. Um, yeah, it does not want me to build, or do I not have the stuff? No, I have the stuff. Um, I guess it just doesn't want me to do that. It's like, no, you can't do that. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, can I get to the town by some other way to get there? Well, there's backpacks that they sell. They, they have stuff for sale. That's pretty sweet. Um, can I just like, yeah, I could just walk across. All right. I was like making it much harder than it needed to be. Okay. All right. So let's cruise over here, and who's this guy? It's Mayor Gerald. Hello, traveler. What's up, dude? Um, need a hand? Uh, what is this place? This is Bridgewater, traveler. My name is Gerald. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers come to Bridgewater, but very few stay. Please donate any spare building supplies to the town notice board. We desperately need resources to rebuild and upgrade the town. If you help me build Bridgewater back up again, I'll clear new plots of land for citizens to move in. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm losing health because I'm starving, by the way. I just realized that. Um, so let me go into my backpack, uh, my inventory, and uh, let me just kind of put that right there and I'm going to push four and just eat. Okay. Now I got to tell you what I just like started liking this game so much more. It's not just you building. If you donate to the town, the town will build up and more people will move in, you know, kind of like Dinkum, but on a grander scale, it looks like, or in just a different aesthetic. All right. Um, what's the notice board say? The town level is zero. There's no house plots. There's four villagers. And um, if we want to upgrade it, we need 100 stone, 100 wood, 50 clay, and 50 um, fiber. Okay, cool. All right. So now we know what to do. We have a good sense of, you know, what is required. Here's the inn. Here's the backpack. Here's the tailor. Um, but, oh, there is somebody here. Hello there, says Alex, but they're not doing anything. Um, I can increase my inventory slots to 200 with this for 50 coins. Now, I guess what the idea is, um, is that this only goes to 100. So I have no weight, but I'm limited in terms of just the sheer volume that I can carry. Um, I don't know how to get coins. So that's kind of a, a bit of a sticking point. But maybe I can donate things piecemeal to the mayor? You know? Don't know. Alright, where am I on the map? I am here. Let's head back to our house. And we've got a beautiful home. And we're going in. And I'm going to rest. 
and we're going to sleep and we did it we got our health back and we're cooking with gas so if you think about it we're almost up a level and we have a, a mission of what to do which is we want to get all the resources that are um, the town needs and you can see how we can level ourselves up and what we can affect with skill points and we've got a good rundown of the game everyone i'd love to know what your thoughts on this game are have you played this have you seen any content on this um are you excited to see more of this would you like me to make some more videos about this game have you thought about getting it have you played it do you know anything about it any tips and tricks that i should know that i've missed out on um I really think it's a beautiful and interesting game, and I'd love to chat with you guys in the comments uh, about your thoughts and impressions. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have an excellent day. Take care.